Good day everyone. In this video I would like to walk you through one of the really exciting new features in IDEA 12.4 especially if you are an IDEA script developer. Namely that now we can program our uh, IDEA scripts in uh, Visual Studio Code which is a modern very up-to-date package that allows us to do our scripting in. And I'm going to walk you through how to set it up and what it looks like. So if we go into File, Help, we have the What's New. And within the What's New, one of the items here is Idea Script Language Support for Visual Studio Code. What this does is it aims to enhance developer users of Idea to create, edit, and debug Idea Scripts. The Idea Script Language Support for Visual Studio Code extension enhances the development experience of Idea Script macros and so on. So if anybody who uh, has done development kind of outside of the idea environment may have come across Visual Studio Code because it is developed by Microsoft and it is hugely popular and it's used a lot for uh, Python development and other language developments. One of the main reasons why we would want to use it is because it has IntelliSense. What that means is it offers intelligent code completion, parameter info, quick info about functions or variables. There's all kind of nice functions there. You can finish off the code. Like we no longer have to remember all the variables and everything like that. You can just start typing and you can uh, finish it off. Same thing for uh, function names and everything like that. They got code completion. It is really, really nice. Uh, it is a major step up from uh, the IdeaScript editor. So now how do we access this? Well, if we go in and I have opened up my package, so the zip file that contains the idea installer for 12.4 also contains a few PDF files. And one of the PDF files is the installation guide. And I've got that just opened up here. So this is the installation guide. And so it walks you through the installation and I'm going to do it for you. So I'm going to do it on screen so you can watch how I set it up. And then we'll go in and uh, create a short program. Just kind of look at what this looks like. So first off, we have to get Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go into my browser and I've already done a Google search on VS Code. So that's how it's usually known, but you can, you know, Visual Studio Code, VS Code, and it should get give you uh, the link to uh, code.visualstudio.code. So I'm just going to click on download and uh, I'm in the Windows environment. And so I'm going to click on Windows and it starts downloading automatically. So once it's done, I'll just click on that to install it. A nice thing about Visual Studio Code is that I'm just clicking all the defaults. Um, one nice thing about the Visual Studio Code is that there's lots and lots of users out there. So there's all kind of support uh, for uh, how to use it, the tricks to use it, and everything like that. You go in, YouTube has tons and tons of videos on how to use it. So, you know, you're not lacking support on how to actually use the, uh, the editor. Okay, so I've installed it. That was fairly quickly. And uh, I'll just open this up. So now that it's opened, and you can see I've actually just reinstalled stuff, so I do have a few programs here. But to install the extension, so we have to install the extension. That's easy enough. There's a section here called Extensions. We click on Extensions. Now I've already got this installed, but if you, how you actually go and install it is you would click the Views and More Actions. And what you're looking for is you're installing from a VSIX file. So these are the template or the extension uh, files. And if we go in and I've saved it on our desktop. So the folder that contains my idea setup, if I go in there, we can see that there's a VSIX file. And then I just do that. I click install. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. And as we can see that it will install it and you will see uh, now you'll have the IDEA language support. And if I click on that, it gives us the information here, how to get started, 
some of the features. So we got like uh, some stuff for basic script, idea script, how to run an idea script, uh, launch idea script debugger, reload. So there's all kind of different things here, that uh, information. And uh, yeah, so it's really fun. So now if we go in and look at the uh, script, so I do have a script here. This is just a basic, like this is the high value one. I'm uh, using uh, ISM, so I've got the, currently have the uh, Unicode version on this computer. So that's what I'm using for the demonstration. But if you had the ASCII version and it was an ISS file, it would work exactly the same way. There's all kind of things here, direct extraction. And now if we can go in and if we want to see stuff, like suppose I'm interested in the client object, I can just start typing client. And here I'm getting all the information. So I got client dot. And here are all the items. So complete delete database. You see how it's uh, really easy to do this. And if I hover over it, it gives me the information on the client delete database, uh, the parameters, the syntax. So it's like having the uh, language browser available to you just by hovering over items, which is really, really great. Uh, it's also been built in, if we do the hashtag, we can actually go in and there's all kind of different items here. So we got source code. So it actually has like code snippets in there that's already been uh, created. Uh, no, sorry, this is this is actually for uh, for Smart Analyze. So one of the items that within here are their snippets, and how you access the snippet is through the percentage, and then you just start typing. So here you got the FSO, so I can just click on that, and it completes it. Create object, scripting, file system object. There's lots of different things in here. I'll maybe do other another. Uh, video sometime exploring the more items within and how you can do it but you can see how quite easily it is you know even the code completion you know i click on task i see where all the different tasks are same thing for database you know it, it's it, it's really really good we also have access i'll just delete this uh to access the dialogue editor it is f6 we have the dialog editor, and uh, you know we get the toolbox here. Suppose we want a checkbox, we can add that in, and we can move that around. So it has the functionality of uh, the dialogs. So you know it's that's really cool. They've uh, sort of kind of recreated the editor there. Now the only downfall is we can't run it directly from uh, within the Visual Studio Code. So, you know, if you're doing another script and you wanted to use this all the time, what you'd probably end up doing is going into idea. And under macros, I'll go bind to ribbon. And I'll just add that. So I'll go new. Or did I already do that? Extraction based on date. Yeah, so I already created. Well, actually, no. We'll go back in uh, new macro. We'll go to the file name and uh, it was what high values amounts we're looking at I believe so we got to open click on OK and I'm just going to add it into the idea scripting tab and click on all right there so now I can just go high value amounts and run it directly here and we can see if it runs so maybe let's see what happens if I add in an error. So uh, let's add in an error where the uh, the extraction didn't uh, won't work, will fail because you know this field doesn't exist. So let's go in and we'll go back to idea and we'll just go run this again. Replace existing file, yes. And here it gives bad equation prior error on line 14. So I can go here, click OK, and I go back in 14. So it's doing the task perform task. So this is what it's running. So this, this is where it's actually evaluating the equation that's used. And uh, we can see that there's an error there and we would just go and then fix it. So this is just a very high level. I'll hopefully be doing other videos going more in depth in this because it's really cool what you can do. And uh, it uh, kind of ups the, the game for idea 
the scripting uh, because the editor we've been using has been around for many many years but now we have an advanced editor that we can go in and use with code completion so this should up the game in the speed within which uh, developers can uh, create their own idea scripts thanks